What's going on boys? It can be really frustrating to walk into your closet and feel like you really have no solid items in your wardrobe to mix and match and make a lot of different outfits with. So I figured making a video on how to build your wardrobe and what items are best to have would be really helpful. With that said, that's what you can expect to get out of this video today. I'll talk about some of my favorite items, how I've built my wardrobe and where I would go, especially if I'm on a bit of a tighter budget as well. Now, I certainly can understand being on a budget, but my first overall overarching tip is gonna be to buy timeless pieces that are also high quality. So for example, you don't want to be buying fast fashion items that are going to be either very outdated a few months down the road or just wither away and have to be repaired or replaced in just a matter of six months to a year. And as far as buying timeless items goes, either buying something like Vans or Chuck Taylors, those shoes are obviously not going anywhere anytime soon. And as for pants, buying a slim fit, nice tapered pant isn't gonna go anywhere either. So buying items like that is a way to ensure that your dollar is gonna go a really far away and something that you're gonna be able to walk into your wardrobe time and time again and have easy, solid items to pick from. Another tip on that would be to buy muted colors. And what I mean by this is going with your whites, your blacks, your grays, and tans, things like that. Even navy can be in there as well. But what's great about items like that is you can just mix and match them so easily and they're also not what I would call statement pieces so when you wear them someone's not really gonna recognize it obviously it's gonna look good but it's not gonna stand out to them so you're not gonna be forced to wear it only a couple times a month because someone's gonna be able to comment on it and notice that specific piece so frequently so you can wear it time and time again and get a ton of use out of it. Now, the first item that you should add to your wardrobe is just a solid essential tee. And I personally like to get my essential tees from Abercrombie. And the reason for that is one, they're cheap, only about $18. And you can even get them cheaper on sale online, usually about 20% off from that. But more importantly, they're super high quality and the fit is great. I've worn them time and time again. They held up over so many washes and they're just a really great, valuable piece. All right, next up is gonna be pants. And I would recommend sticking with the nice, tapered, slim fit pant. You don't wanna go skinny. That's definitely comes and goes in terms of style. Now, my preference for buying pants is actually Lululemon. And I understand if you're on a budget, that's definitely not the most budget-friendly brand to go with at all. First off, the ABC pants, which is what I would recommend, are $128, which is really pricey. That being said, though, you can wear them in pretty much any situation. You can wear them to work, obviously wear them to the bar, or social settings and I even worn them to weddings and so have my buddies as well. So that's what's great about these pants is that they're so versatile. Next is the quality and the fit that you're paying for is just 10 out of 10 in my opinion you can't beat it and if you haven't tried them on already I would really recommend just going into a store and seeing how they fit for yourself and just seeing how soft and how premium the fabric is too. And the cherry on top of it all is if they do rip or tear or anything like that you can take them in and get them replaced. Now I will say Lululemon certainly does not advertise this because obviously they don't want everyone just taking them in but I can speak from firsthand experience that I have done this multiple times and I've just gotten to pick out a brand new pair so when you factor that in it's really only like a $64 pant since you really got two for the price of one and if that's out of your price range I definitely understand but you can also look at their we made too much section which they update every Thursday around like three Eastern I believe it is but you can even find their Lululemon slim fit pants on that with some great colorways as well so keep her out for that and that's another way that you can get it for under $100. Now, if you wanna do away with Lululemon altogether, I definitely understand that. And I would recommend just going over to Abercrombie and getting some Chino style pants or even jeans, if that's more of your preference. All right, next up, we're gonna talk over shirts. And this is just a really great way to step up your style overall. Now, some great overshirt options are something like a camp collar shirt, which I am a huge fan of. It's a really classic, clean look, and it's definitely hot right now. Flannels are another great option for over shirts. I personally like to differ a little bit because I feel like flannels are just so overplayed right now. So I, again, would go to Abercrombie and get a texturized flannel. And this style is definitely different than that normal flannel pattern I think of in my head when I hear that term. So I like the look of this a lot. Again, it is very muted and pretty normal looking, so it's not gonna stand out all that much. Now, obviously, wearing your overshirt, you're gonna wanna put it over an essential tee or even better, probably put it over a tank, especially if it's summer. I think this is a really great look. It's very classic, and honestly, again, it's just timeless, and tanks are so, so cheap. I personally just buy them from Hanes on Amazon. I'll link the ones I get to below. You can get them in a three pack, and it's only like 10 bucks, so it's a really great essential piece to have in your wardrobe, especially when it comes to layering. All right, and on the 
the topic of warmer weather, you should have a great pair of shorts. And again, I would just go with a chino style short. You cannot go wrong. And me personally, I would stick to Lululemon or Abercrombie. And if you're wondering why I keep recommending these brands, it's honestly because I think the amount of money that you pay, just the quality is fantastic. But more importantly, like the fit is what you're really paying for. The styling, the taper is really hard to beat and hard to find when you go and spend cheaper than that. Anyway, chino style shorts are good for any situation. They're never ever gonna go out of style and you can wear them with so many different items. Now, this next recommendation is certainly not an essential that you need, but I think it's a great summer item that you can wear so many times. And it's a bit different than the chino style, which is obviously, I don't wanna say overplayed, but pretty much everybody and their moms has it. But I would recommend going with a linen style short. It's great because it's so breathable and there are some fun different patterns that you can get as well. Again, no surprise, Abercrombie has some great options, but you could just look up linen shorts online and find some really great options. Now, just keep in mind for shorts, I personally would recommend getting a seven inch inseam. You can go as short as five. I think that looks really clean as well, but I think five to seven is really that sweet spot. Now for shoes, I would just keep it really, really simple and get a white leather shoe. They're they're never gonna go out of style. They stay clean for so long and it just makes your dollar go a really long way. I personally just went with some white leather chucks because it was really simple and easy. And again, a very cost-effective option that I know is timeless, but you can shake it up and go with whatever white leather shoe you would like. Next, we're gonna talk accessories and these are definitely optional. So I would get all of those essentials out of the way before you decide and go and get some of these accessories. First up would be just getting a nice classic hat. You can't go wrong. And personally, I think 47 has the best hats the fitting is just perfect and they're pretty reasonable as well. Only like 25 bucks, give or take two. Next up is gonna be jewelry. And as you can tell, I definitely like to wear jewelry myself. It's not the most cost effective option, obviously, but it's a great way to just enhance your outfit and signal to people that you're trying, right? So I would recommend going over to Jackson. They're not affiliated or sponsoring this video at all, but I truly just really like their products and that's where I tell a lot of my friends to go get their jewelry. And again, if you're interested in learning more about jewelry, maybe this is your first piece that you're gonna buy, I have a whole video dedicated to that that I'll link in the description below. And last but not least, a great way to elevate your overall look is just a nice pair of shades. Obviously, Ray-Bans is a great option, but that's definitely not affordable. So I went ahead and bought some Meller sunglasses and I actually got two for the price of $65. Now, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. But I really hope that you found some great pieces to walk away and build your wardrobe from just as a beginner, or maybe you're just looking for a few new pieces to add overall.